Hey everyone, Bash here, and today we are back with Raccoon. And we're here to see Tony. What are you doing on my island? Get out of here. Now you wait just a second, Mr. Bear. Hmm? That's no way to talk to a couple of nice people who just came to visit you. What? You came to visit me? Yes, of course. We heard that you could use some visitors. Oh, um, thank you. But I'm busy. I gotta find something I've lost, so you should probably get out of here. What are you looking for? That's none of your beeswax, kid. Perhaps if you told us, we could help you find it. You're really helpy? Of course! Oh. Wow, well, I guess if you want to help me, that would be... That would be nice. But you'd better not laugh at what I'm looking for. We would never do that. Okay. I lost a music box. If you could help me find it, I'd be very grateful. We'll do everything we can to find it. Thank you. Okay. A music box, huh? So he lost the music box. And Tony is, uh... Tony's the old man, right? He'd be the old man. He sounds as grumpy as the old man. Um, I don't have a mu I don't have a music box either, so I think we go back to the hospital. Water that plant. Don't have to worry about that later. I think. Let's fill up our bucket again just in case. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that one's that one kid, I think. Um, is he in this one? Nope. In this one? Yeah. Is it too much to ask you to cup of coffee around here? Okay. I think we could buy a coffee at the vending machine, right? I think so. Yay, we have enough money! What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Wait, is that coffee for me? Yes. Oh, well then, um, thanks. I gave him that coffee. Uh, hey kid. Um, can I help you somehow? Help me, kid. I don't think anyone can help me right now. Eh, you're not gonna leave until I give you something to do, or. Okay then, you see that broken music box over there? You look like a budding engineer. See if you can fix it for me. That ought to keep the kid occupied long enough. Okay, well we got the music box. 
Now we need to take it back to Bear Tony, right? Oop! Bathroom. <laughs> I could do that like, all the time, it feels like. Uh, what was the best way to get... Is it... No? Which way was it? This one? There we go. Easy door, baby! Here we go! Hey, Tony! You came back, and you brought the music box. There's a problem though, it's broken. Don't worry now, I'm sure we can figure out a way to fix it. You know anyone around here who can fix mechanical things? Well, there is someone, but eh? I haven't exactly been that nice to him in the past. I see, well, perhaps we can talk to him for you. You would do that for me? Well, we've come this far. I don't see why we should give up now. Okay. Well, Blacksmith Jackie over in Liebel Village could probably fix it. He's good with that kind of stuff. Jackie! Jackie was, uh, the first guy we met, right? In the cave. Um. Oh, how do I get over there again? I think it. Is it up that way, or...? I think it's up this way. Okay. Jacky, 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 jacky. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? For you guys, anytime. What do you need help with? Do you know how to fix music boxes? Hmm, well, I could certainly try. What seems to be the problem? I'm not really sure. It looks like the wind-up part is all rusted over and... Actually, maybe you should just have a look at it. Hmm, I see what you mean. Well, I'll see what I could do. Okay, I have good news and bad news. The good news is I was able to fix the box itself. It's all nice and new and shiny. Unfortunately, the spindle is still broken. Did you run out of materials? We go find some more for you. If only it were that simple. You see, the spindle is like a brain of the music box. It's a small, centrical piece covered in pins which pluck the tiny comb to produce music. As you can see, the spindle has been broken to the point where you can't even see where the pins were originally placed. And since I don't know the music, I'd have no idea where to place the pins now. If you could teach me the music, I could rebuild it for you. Hmm. I don't know the music, but I know someone who would. Mom, let's go back to Tony's Island and see if he can teach us the music box of music. Good idea. Go back with him and you know the song and I'll pick the spindle for you. Thanks, Jackie. We will. Okay, back to Tony's Island it is then. Hey, you guys, have any luck with the music box? Yeah, Jackie was able to fix everything except the tiny part inside that makes the music. The brain part. But the good news is, is that all we need to do is teach him the music and he can fix that too. Can you teach us the song for your music box, Tony? Ah, uh, I knew it was going to be too good to be true. 
Calm down, are you saying that you don't know, you don't remember the music that plays? I used to, I really did, but I've forgotten. I can't believe that I've forgotten. Do you know anyone else who might remember it? Hmm. Tony? There is someone. She lives on the other side of the forest, out by the hot springs where Kisaburu hangs out. Her name is Christina. We'll find her. Thank you. Oh, and uh, hey, uh, I don't have much in the way of kind things. Kid things, but why don't you take this? A rainbow marble! Woo! You know what to do with that. Yeah. Kids still play with marbles nowadays, don't they? Uh, yeah, they do actually. <laughs> Even here in 2022. <laughs> hey, kid. Wooma! I'm really sorry about earlier. I didn't know, I just. Eh, water in the bridge. Look, I got scoot to boot, but I thought you might need some more directions. Directions? You are looking for Christina, aren't you? Oh, yes, we are. Well, the path that leads there is blocked off, so you're gonna have to find another way. Check the hospital. There was a cold wind blowing from Kusaburu's room. Toodles. Kusaburu? Kusaburu's. Kusaburu. Who was Kusaburu again? Let's go. Let's let's give her the marble. Hey there! Rainbow Toyland! I think you would really like the Rainbow Toyland. It's the most magical toy store in the whole universe. Wow! What's it like there? Well, for starters, this toy store is in the sky and the only way to get there is to find a special mountain where the end of the rainbow touches the ground. The rainbow is like an escalator. You step on it and it will carry you all to the clouds. Wow. Then, each person rides on their own tiny train car across the long bridge. Which leads to a huge room full of toys. What kind of toys? Oh, well, all sorts. Kid-sized houses, teddy bears, robots, building blocks, board games, tiny pianos. Do they have marimbas? Marimbas? What's a marimba? It's kind of like a piano and a drum. You hit the notes with these sticks called mallets. Oh, I think I saw those there. If we ever go, I can play music. We can play music together. I could go there too? Of course! You're my friend, so you're always welcome there. We can play lots of games. Thank you, I would love that. You know, games are good and all, but you gotta be careful not to play them too much. Especially the risky ones. Risky ones? Yeah, some games make you lose lots of money. Sometimes the person playing the game, they play it so much that they forget to spend time with their family. Sometimes those people love the games more than they anything else. But it's not like that at Rainbow Toyland. You don't have to worry about that at all. Thanks again for bringing me this. It's really special to me. You're always so nice to me, bringing me marbles and listening to me talk about my planets. Sorry I talk so much. I wish I could give you something more. But for now, I'll just give you my last piece of candy. Here's a shift leader is trying to repair the wall in the Silver's room. Oh, the I'm not sure if you still need to stoop around for the secret doors. If you do, I'm sure you know that another one of these will come in handy. <laughs> well, thank you. 
Haha, <laughs> thanks, Sue. No problem. Come visit me anytime. Good luck with your wish. Okay, so now I know where we have to go. Good thing I gave her the marble. <laughs> I don't know why they expect me to fix this. I am not a carpenter. And the fact that Kasaburo keeps breaking down the boards to go dig in the mud outside certainly doesn't help either. You're not a treasure hunter, Kasaburo. I don't know what you're talking about. No more. Sneaking outside. It's dangerous. Hmm. What do you want to do? Um, how is it that you always show up exactly when I'm craving one of these? I guess I could go take a fiver. There's always time for peanut choo-choos. Thanks a lot, kid. And now I'm breaking down this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoa, what happened in here? There's mud everywhere. Did Kasaburo do all this? What do you think? He's looking for mom? <laughs> I'm not really sure, dear. But it's gotta be something really special, don't you think? I think so. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I broke. <laughs> okay. Aha! Door! We've got the door, baby! Okay. Um, visitor! We haven't had visitors here in a long time. What brings you to this side of the forest, friend? <laughs> oh, Christina! She's a good friend of mine. Head east until you see the hot springs, then follow the stairs down. Her cave is at the very bottom of the whale. Oh, okay. Mm. So, this way? What are you looking at? There's nothing here, nothing at all. Okay, not that way then. So I guess it's this way. This is the healing spring, you know. Oh, maybe you didn't notice I was here. I do blend in quite well with the water. I'm Casaburo, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you happen to know if Christina lives around here? Why well, yes, she does actually. Just follow the stairs down this mountain. She and her family live in the cave at the bottom by the well. Thank you, Christopher. Okay then. Alright, that must be the cave. The well and the cave, the well and the cave. Okay. Aw, look at the babies! Excuse me, are you Christina? Yes, that's my name. Are you one of the cub's friends? Actually, we're here on behalf of Tony. Tony? You don't know him? No, no, I know him. I just haven't seen him in a very long time. He asked us to help him fix something. Tony had that? Yes. Blacksmith Jackie fixed most of it, but he can't fix the spindle inside without knowing the song that's supposed to play. Tony told us that you're the only one who would know the song. Oh. I'm sorry, but I can't remember it either. Well, thank you for your efforts. I'm sorry I couldn't have been more helpful. Oh. Boy. What are we supposed to do then? I guess. Christy, wake up. 
Come on, Christy. Let's go play. Oh. Um. I think we're probably gonna go ahead and cut this one off here because it's already running at 20 minutes, guys. We'll finish this next time, alright? It's really dark in here. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Right here in, I think, Tony's old house. Or childhood, I don't know. Ciao!